Welcome to the Injection Connection, in-depth discussions with thought leaders and professionals in the polyurethane infrastructure repair industry. Water is a damaging substance when it gets in and starts working its way through and, and no coatings uh, you know, despite the claims that people make, manufacturers make about, well, our coating will withstand hydrostatic pressure, our coating will stand backside pressure. No, it won't. Not not long term. The That's only that. way to the only way to solve it might in the you know beginning until you drive away, and and maybe even until you cash the check perhaps, but um, it will be a problem at some point. And and the only way to successfully do these things is by stopping the water from getting in, you know, don't let it get in in the first place and then it won't be a problem. So that's why we line the insides uh, to protect the surface. So we have to figure out some way to keep the moisture out. So grouting is, is, you know, and, you know, in a lot of cases, um, you know, if you're talking about underground things and things of that nature, there's so many cool tricks that you've taught me, and 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 the, the you grout geeks have taught the coding geeks um, that that can be done without as much invasive sort of digging and and prodding around and ripping this out and putting this in, and and you can do so much of it uh, um, simply by knowing where to start and drilling holes and pumping uh, grout in. So, I mean, I learned a lot from you actually about it uh, a ton. And, and so, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that comes up all the time, but it's, it's mostly ignorance and just, you know, partially ignorance, partially indifference. And then, and then, uh, you know, just afterthought. Right. And, and, and I think a lot of it also comes down to you, you have GCs, and they're focused, you know, on their Gantt charts and, and how the, to, to move this multi-million dollar project along. And then you're talking about a small percentage of it, or, or it's not even a percent, it's a problem that's come up. And so they don't realize the long-term effects of just skipping over that or whatever, because they're focused on what the fire is at that, that, that time right there. So a lot of times when we're brought in, we're dealing with people that now are closing out a project or trying to finish it up going, oh, well... You know, I heard months ago this is gonna bite me in the butt, and here it is now. I can't get my paycheck because we're still leaking on this tank or whatnot. Right. And probably one of the places that it's understood the most, and it's used a lot in this way, is the underground. So in the sewer manhole restoration, I mean, most of the people that are playing in that game now at least understand the whole inflow and infiltration and what it does to the system and how it, you know, wreaks havoc on the plant and, and their capacity levels. And, you know, we, we all, I'm, I shouldn't say everybody, but I mean, anybody who's in the business has seen the, the classic, you know, manhole eruption and the, the, yep. you know, I was in actually uh, a few years ago, I was down in Louisiana in New Orleans for a conference. I can't remember whether it was West tech or SSPC or something. And we just outside our hotel a huge rain event happened and and you could hear the 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 uh manhole lids dancing on all around the streets you could hear it right you could hear it and people are going what is that i'm going oh just watch and soon but within probably five six minutes all of a sudden the manholes were coming off the lid and they're heavy it well, takes a, if you've never lifted one up, they're they're <laughs> heavy, and these things just came out, and the water was spewing, and that you know, the, the, when people see that, they they kind of understand it, but the, it's understood a little bit more in that market where I find that there's a lack of understanding of it is in the wastewater treatment plant itself because there's all kinds of problems in water treatment and wastewater treatment with leakage. Um, and, and with cracks and, and just, you know, I've been in plants and walking through them and, and there's just water dripping every way. And like, is that a problem? And they're like, Oh, yeah, I just been doing that for years. I, you know, yeah. they just walk by it because it's always been there and they've never dealt with it. And they, and a lot of times you go, well, you know, there's a solution for that. <laughs> and right. they're like, Oh, really? You know how to fix that? We've tried everything. We've put hydraulic cement in, we've tried to plug it with silicone. They've tried everything. I said, yeah, there's actually a fairly simple way to fix it 